So he's not responded to your last message and you find that creeping temptation to start checking up on him. I'm Hayley Quinn and I'm here to explain why you feel like you wanna be checking on his socials and the last time he was online so much and how to stop yourself going down that rabbit hole of bad dating behavior. Before I get started though, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Have you ever creeped on someone's dating social media? And if you did, what motivated you to do that? First of all, while I think most of us are on board here that checking out when someone was last online on WhatsApp or seeing what they're up to on their Instagram stories isn't exactly the most healthy dating behavior you could be in for, you can understand how sometimes you might get sucked into doing it. Usually when you feel the need to creep or check up on someone's behavior online, it's because you feel like something is incomplete and you feel out of control and disempowered in the real world. Perhaps you've been left on red, perhaps you haven't heard from someone for a few days and you're just not quite sure where you stand with someone and you feel like because they haven't contacted you, it would be a bit much for you to reach out and say, so what is this or how haven't I heard from you? So instead you go about a kind of harvesting information exercise by checking when they were last online or what's been going on on their social media. What you're really looking to do here is to get yourself into a position where you feel like you've got a bit more control. Perhaps their lack of communication and clarity has made you feel quite out of control at the moment. And you're hoping that you're gonna stumble across a piece of information here, which is going to help to explain what's actually going on. Of course, the tricky thing though is, any information you find, is it really genuine information? Because we just put a snapshot of ourselves online, so you may notice that he was last on WhatsApp continually overnight, and then suddenly you're thinking, oh my gosh, he must have been out. That means he's out, he's trying to meet somebody else. Equally, you might look at his Instagram stories and be like, that looks like a date to me, what's going on? It's very easy to take these snapshot pieces of information and use them to construct a larger narrative about what's actually going on with this guy when you don't really know him yet. So ironically, rather than feeling more empowered and more in control, you may end up feeling more out of control because suddenly you've got all this new information you're not sure what it means because you just don't know him that well and you haven't communicated with him. So instead, what I'd ask you to do is instead of creeping and checking up on his social media and when he was last online and all that stuff, the most important thing you can do right now is go back to you, which is actually, rather than trying to figure out why he isn't interacting with me in the way that I want, it's to start to focus on is how he's interacting with me, is how he's showing up, lining up with what I expect and want out of a relationship. So instead of making it about what's the reason he's not here right now, focus on he's not actually engaging with you in terms of communicating and interacting with you as much as you would like. And if this standard continually falls short of what you would expect in a partner, then actually that could just be an indicator this isn't the right person for you. So as hard as it is, you need to do one of two things. First thing is you just step away from the phone, you mute his socials, you put your phone on airplane mode, go and have a bath, go out and hang out with some friends and just do something different, do anything to take your mind away and break the habit of checking up on him when you feel insecure. The second thing you can do here is you can just communicate with him. That can feel scary because it can feel like, oh, I'm just gonna let go of all my pride and I'm gonna just try and figure out what's going on. But there may be a trade-off here where you think actually, rather than being overly tactical and trying to strategically play it cool, perhaps I can just be aware now that I'm obviously not getting my needs met in this relationship because I feel so anxious, I feel so confused. And because of that, it's actually just gonna be healthier for me to have a conversation and get more clarity about where I stand. Sometimes that's also just a more secure, open thing to do than trying to figure out what's going on for someone through making assumptions about what they post online. So you've got a choice. You can either recognize that his behavior is or isn't lining up for you in terms of what you're looking for as a partner. You can step away by putting your phone on airplane mode, shifting your focus elsewhere and muting his socials and breaking that bad habit and just giving yourself a bit more time to get to know him better, by which point you're gonna be finding it a lot easier to interpret his actions. Or option three, you can go in there and have just an honest and open conversation with him because you've recognized actually it's more important to be clear than to be anxious. 
If you want more practical and empowering dating advice, please head over to hayleyquinn.com forward slash real love where you can enroll in my free online mini training. Yeah.